souls create, O blessed, vouchsafe within our souls to rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid, and fill the hearts which thou hast made. To thee, the Comforter, we cry, to thee, the gift of God most high, the fount of life, the fire of love, the soul's anointing from above. The sevenfold gifts of grace are thine, O finger of the hand divine, True promise of the Father Thou, Who dost the tongue with speech endow. The light to every thought impart, And shed Thy love in every heart, The weakness of our mortal state, with deathless might invigorate. Drive far away a wily foe, and thine abiding peace bestow, if thou be our protecting guide, no evil can our steps be tied. Make thou to us the Father known, teach us the eternal Son to own, and thee whose name we ever bless, of both the Spirit to confess. Praise we the Father and the Son, and Holy Ghost with them one, and may the Son on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow. Amen. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be made, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Ghost, that we may perfectly love and worthily magnify thee. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people. O deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why hast thou put me from thee? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresseth me? O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me and bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy dwelling. And that I may go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. And upon the harp will I give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy, O my soul? Why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, which is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father,
I hear your blessing from the most high to full of temporal freedom and walk in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Confess unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endureth forever. I confess to God, to blessed Mary, to all the saints, and to you, that I have sinned exceeding in thought, word, and deed through my fault. I pray, Holy Mary, all the saints of God and you to pray for me. And Almighty God, have mercy upon thee and forgive thee all thy sins. Deliver thee from all evil, preserve and strengthen thee in goodness and bring thee to everlasting life. Amen. I confess to God, to blessed Mary, to all the saints and to thee, Father, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word and deed through my fault. I pray, Holy Mary, all the saints of God and thee, Father, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy upon you and forgive you all your sins, deliver you from all evil, preserve and strengthen you in goodness and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from this time forth, now and forevermore. Thou shalt purge me, O Lord, with this herb, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Have mercy on me, O Lord, after thy great goodness. Thou shalt purge me, O Lord, with his up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offences. Thou shalt purge me, O Lord, with his up, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Graciously hear us, O Holy Lord, Father, almighty, everlasting God and vouchsafe to send thy holy angel from heaven to guard and cherish, to protect and visit, and to defend all who dwell in this thy holy habitation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be the blessing of the Lord, may this intense be blessed by him in the moment which comes now. This the Lord is my light and my saviour, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is a defender of my light, of whom then shall I be afraid? When they that had enmity against me, even mine enemies and my foes, came nigh to eat up my flesh, they faltered and fell. Though a legion were laid against me, yet shall not my heart be afraid. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my saviour, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? When they that had enmity against me, even mine enemies and my foes, came nigh to eat up my flesh, they faltered and fell. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us, Christ have mercy upon us, Lord have mercy upon us, Lord have mercy upon us, Lord have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high and in earth be his good will towards men we praise thee we bless thee we worship thee we glorify thee we give thanks to thee for thy great glory o lord god heavenly king god the father almighty O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, I receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. 
let us pray. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear our supplications, and grant that we to whom thou hast given an hearty desire to pray may by thy aid be defended. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty everlasting God, who has given unto us thy servant's grace, by the confession of a true faith, to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity, and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity, we beseech thee that thou wouldst keep us steadfast in this faith, and evermore defend us from all adversities, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, mercifully hear the prayers of thy church, that she, being delivered from all manner of adversity and error, may joyfully serve thee in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The lesson from the first epistle of St. Peter. Dearly beloved, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks be to God. Wash away our sins for thy name's sake. Let the nation say, Where is now their God? Help us, O God, our Saviour, for the glory of thy name, O Lord, deliver us. Lord, be in my heart and mind, that I may preach the Holy Gospel of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Alleluia. Sat on the throne who rightly divideth the truth. The Lord is become a refuge for the poor, a helper in due time of trouble. 
The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, the continuation of the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time draw near unto Jesus all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmuring, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbours, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety-nine just persons which need no repentance. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the humility of God's charity calls us to humility over and against our pride. Pride is that grand delusion whereby we think we are sufficient unto ourselves. Whereby we think we stand in need of nothing, but presume to be the centre of everything. That self-giving love of God stands altogether opposed to the self-centredness of our pride. It is our pride which stands utterly opposed to God and to God's ways with us. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. In the Gospel for today, all the publicans and sinners drew near to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. In other words, the Pharisees and scribes, the self-righteous in the pride of their religion, complain about the company which Jesus keeps. The company of publicans and sinners. It is in relation to this division between publicans and sinners on the one hand and Pharisees and scribes on the other hand that Jesus tells his parable. Publicans are not the keeper of pubs, but collector of taxes. Taxes which belong to the res publicae, the public things, in the order and the rule of state. Now, tax collectors can hardly be regarded in a favourable light, but much less so in the context of the Gospel. For then, they were seen as traitors to Israel because they were cooperating with foreign Roman overlords, and beyond that, they were also seen as extortionists. The business of tax collection was hired out by the Roman government to local agents. Rome may have been the first government to outsource taxing. 
They were given a quota which they had to meet. Anything above that was for themselves. Thus the publicans were out to get whatever they could from an unwilling population. No one could be more despised than a publican. Hardly respectable company for a teacher of religion, or at least so the Pharisees and scribes thought. Their complaint was that they were the worthy ones, the respectable company with whom Jesus should be, not this rabble of unworthy publicans and sinners. Their, complete, their complaint reveals a feature of pride. It cuts us off from the others, it cuts us off from others and from God. As Hagar Shipley Curry in Margaret Lawrence's classic novel The Stone Angel puts it, pride was my wilderness. A wilderness in which we are lost ourselves, to ourselves, to others and to God. There is nothing more empty and more isolating than pride. The pride that is so completely focused on oneself, whether in boasting how great I am, or in whining how poor, sad, mad and miserable I am. Jesus' response to, is to tell two stories, three actually. The story of the lost sheep, the story of the lost coin, and the story which follows these two. The story of the lost prodigal son. The lesson is plain. Salvation is for those who need salvation and for those who are lost. There shall be more joy in heaven than one sinner that repenteth over ninety and nine just persons who need no repentance. To know oneself as a sinner is to stand in need of salvation. <coughs> to be looking forward to it. And be to be where it is proclaimed. To know oneself as such is itself an act of humility, an act of the grace of God in one. Jesus tells this to the Pharisees and scribes who, like the publicans and sinners, also need repentance and salvation. But unlike the publican and sinners, they don't think that they need anything whatsoever. They stand and murmur against Jesus in the pride of their self-righteousness claiming a worthiness on the basis of their observation of the law. Keeping the law, however, is not their sin. Their sin is in despising the publicans and sinners, in presuming their own self-sufficiency and in murmuring against the ways of God with men in Jesus Christ. The Gospel shows us that Jesus is the infinite charity of God towards us, reaching down to seek out the lost from the greatest to the least, and to draw us back out of the wilderness to which our sins have exiled us, to bring us into the company which we have forsaken. Here is the humility of God's charity, but in this reaching down of God to us, there is also his reaching down in us. Humility is God's grace opening us up, opening us out to the pattern of his love in us. It is the inner clothing of the soul, and it changes everything. Be subject one to another, St. Peter tells us. How different is that from the Pharisees and scribes? They would stand over everything else, lord it over us all. But if it is not so with God, then how can it be so with one another? Be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. But being subject one to another does not mean mindless submission. Humility must also mean a confident openness to the truth which one has been given to see and a confident willingness to act upon what one knows. Humility is not groveling subservience. The point theologically is the total primacy of God's grace in the work of salvation. It is not our worthiness but the infinite generosity of God that is at work for us and in us. And this is something which we have to want if ever we will discover how it is all God's work in us. Pride can have no place with God, for it stands opposed to God and murmurs against God for the company he keeps. But the company he keeps is you and me, sinners all, whether publicans or not. 
And if we think we are not sinners, then we exclude ourselves from his company and presume to be better than one another. Such is not of God. The lesson Jesus teaches illustrates the gentle humility of God's way with us in the face of the hardness of our proud hearts. He shows us the infinite extent of the humility of his love for us in his seeking out of the lost. And he shows us that the way of his love must be in his way in us. He has reached down to us in the lost wanderings of our ways. But he has reached down to us that he might redeem us, that his humility might be both his example and the workings of his grace in us, that he might be in our company, sinners all, and we in his company, gracious in the sight of God by virtue of God's reaching down to us. Such is God's humility towards us. Such is the humility with which we should want to be clothed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Light. 
plunge, mine eyes that I sleep not in death, lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him. Receive, O Holy Trinity, this oblation which I am worthy to sinner offer in thy honour. Blessed Mary and all thy saints for my sins and offences, for the salvation of the living and the repose of all the faithful departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, let this new sacrifice be acceptable to Almighty God. the intercession of Blessed Michael the Archangel, standing at the right hand of the altar incense, and of all his elect, may the Lord vouchsafe to bless this incense, and to receive it for a sweet smell unto the Savior, through Christ our Lord. Let thy prayer, Lord, be set forth, and thy exaggerate for thy prayer. Let thy prayer, Lord, be set forth, and thy sight of the incense. My prayer, O Lord, be set forth in thy sight as the incense. My prayer, O Lord, be set forth in thy sight as the incense. My prayer, O Lord, be set forth in thy sight as the incense. My prayer, O Lord, be set forth. Cleanse me, O Lord, from all pollution of mind and body, that I may in purity perform the holy work of the Lord. In the spirit of humility and with a contrite heart, let it be accepted of thee, O Lord, and let our sacrifice be in such wise in thy sight that it may be accepted of thee this day, and please thee, Lord. Pray, brethren and sisters, for me, that my and your sacrifice may alike be accepted by the Lord our God. The grace of the Holy Ghost illumine my heart and lips, and the Lord graciously accept this sacrifice of praise at my hands for our sins and offences.
with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, just, and for our salvation that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who with thy only begotten Son and the Holy Ghost art one God, art one Lord, not one only person, but three persons in one substance. Therefore, that which we believe of thy glory, which thou hast revealed, the same do we believe of thy Son, and of the Holy Ghost without difference or inequality, that in the confession of a true and everlasting Godhead, both distinctions in the persons and unity in being and equality, in majesty be he worshipped, which angels and archangels praise, cherubim also and seraphim, who cease not to cry with one voice, saying, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Therefore, most merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, we most humbly pray and entreat to accept and bless these gifts, these presents, this holy immaculate sacrifice, which we offer to thee in the first place in behalf of thy holy Catholic Church, to which do thou deign to give peace, to thou to unite and to govern it throughout the whole world. Together with thy servants, Francis our Pope, Damien our Bishop, Elizabeth our Queen, all the Orthodox and maintainers of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and thy handmaidens. And all here present whose faith is approved and whose devotion is known to thee in whose behalf we offer unto thee, who are engaged in offering unto thee, this sacrifice of praise for themselves and for all pertaining to them, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their own salvation and security, and are paying their vows unto thee, the eternal living and true God, in communion with and reverencing the memory in the first place of the glorious and ever virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, as also thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Apollo, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clepus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christophanes, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all thy saints, <coughs> for whose sake and prayers grant that in all things we may be strengthened by the aid of thy protection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. This oblation, therefore, of our service and that of thy whole family, who beseech thee, O Lord, graciously to accept and dispose our days in thy peace, delivering us from eternal damnation and causing us to be numbered among the flock of thine elect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Which oblation we beseech thee, Almighty God, that thou wouldst vouchsafe in all respects to bless, approve, ratify, and make reasonable and acceptable that it may become to us the body and the blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who on the day before he suffered, 
took bread into his holy and adorable hands, and lifting up his eyes to heaven, and to thee, his Father, God Almighty, gave thanks to thee, blessed, break, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. Likewise, after supper, taking also this most excellent chalice into his holy and adorable hands, and giving thanks to thee, he blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of it, for this is the cup of my blood of the new and everlasting testament the mystery of faith, which shall be shared for you and for many for the remission of sins. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Wherefore, we also, Lord, we thy servants, together with thy holy people, call into mind the most blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord God, together with his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven. Offer to thy most excellent majesty of thy gifts and bounties a pure, a holy, a spotless sacrifice, the holy bread of eternal life, and the cup of everlasting salvation, upon which do thou vouchsafe to look with favourable and gracious countenance, and accept them as thou didst accept the gifts of thy righteous servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice of your oblation which thy high priest Melchizedek offered to thee. We humbly entreat thee, Almighty God, command these things to be carried by the hands of thy holy angels to thy altar on high, before the sight of thy divine majesty. That as many of us I shall be partaking at this altar, receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be fulfilled with all grace and heavenly benediction. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, O Lord, the souls of thy servants and handmaidens. who have gone before us with a sign of faith and sleep the sleep of peace. To them also, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we pray thee, grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. To us also, thy sinful servants, who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, Vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, into whose company not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offences, which we, we beseech thee to admit us, 
to Christ our Lord, by whom, O Lord, thou ever created, sanctifiest, quickenest, blessest, and bestowest upon all these good things. By him and with him and in him is unto thee God the Father Almighty in the unity of the Holy Ghost all honour and glory throughout all ages world without end Amen Let us pray. Admonished by saving precepts and directed by divine institution, we are bold to say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that, tre that trespass against us. <coughs> and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech thee from all evils, past, present, and to come. And of the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and Andrew with all saints, graciously give peace in our time, that aided by the help of thy loving kindness, we may both be ever set free from sin and secure from all disquietude. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with thee liveth and reigneth in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy spirit. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Let this most holy union of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be to me and all who receive it health of mind and body, and a saving preparation for worthy attainment to eternal life. Through the same Christ our Lord. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, grant me so worthily to receive this most holy body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that I may thereby receive forgiveness of all my sins, and be filled with thy Holy Ghost, and to have thy peace. For thou only art God, and there is no other beside thee, whose kingdom and glorious dominion abideth forever, world without end. Peace be unto the end of the church of God, and with thy spirit. O God, the Father, fountain source of all goodness, who, moved by thy loving kindness, didst will thine only begotten to send for us this lower world, this thick flesh, which I am worthy here hold in my hand. I worship thee, I glorify thee, I, I praise thee. Through 
through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, God the Father and the same Holy Ghost, live us and reign as God world without end. Amen. Hail Father Lord, most holy flesh of Christ, and eager for all and of all the highest thought of glory. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ be unto me the, the sinner, the way and the life. In the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hail forevermore, and heavenly drink to me before all and above all the highest source of joy. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be unto me as a perpetual healing unto everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting who has refreshed me with the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that this sacrament of our salvation, of which I am worthy sinner, have partaken, tend not to judgment, nor condemnation according to my deserts, but be profitable for the preservation of my body and soul, and everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, behold he who taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter into my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion for those not able to take part in Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As, thou, as though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. The Lord is my firm foundation and my fortress and my deliverer, my defender and the horse of my salvation and my protector. We are partaking with our mouth, O Lord, may we receive with a pure heart, and by a temporal gift may everlasting healing be effected. Let this communion, O Lord, cleanse us from sin, 
we make him partakers of heavenly beings. Let us adore the sign of the cross whereby we have received the sacrament of salvation. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. We, having received thy gifts, beseech thee, O Lord, that by thy virtue thou wouldst purify us from all vices, and fill us abundantly with the gifts of thy grace. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the receiving of the sacrament, O Lord our God, and the confession of the everlasting Holy Trinity, and of the undivided unity of the same, be profitable to us for the salvation of body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our God, we beseech thee, suffer not those to fall into the perils of this life, whom thou dost permit to rejoice in the partaking of heavenly food. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit depart ye the mass is over thanks be to God let the obedient performance of my bounden duty be pleasing unto the Holy Trinity and grant that this sacrifice which I am worthy that I am above it in the sight of thy majesty, 
may be acceptable unto thee, and may through thy mercy obtain thy favour for myself and all those in whose behalf I have offered it. Who liveth and reigneth, God, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the dark thus comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Lord, save thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, and hear us when we call upon thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that thy servant, our Queen Elizabeth, who by thy mercy has undertaken the government of this realm, may receive increase of all the virtues fit and dominant for a Queen, enabling her to shun all foul temptations, overcome her enemies and with the Prince and the Royal Family, be welcomed at thy last by thee, who art the way, the truth and the life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and most merciful Father, who by the childbearing of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, has revenged our ruin and by the ministry of thy holy angels, dost ever succour and defend us. Keep we beseech thee our diocese under thy continued help and protection, that we, ever mindful of thy grace, may bring forth for thee the fruit of good works and the harvest of souls. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Let us uh, sing the song of the three children. O ye priests of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord. O ye holy, humble men of heart, bless ye the Lord. O oh, Ananias, Azarias, and Mizael, bless ye the Lord. Praise him and magnify him forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, with the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. 
Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, now let us out thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us sing the song of the three children, which they sang in the furnace of fire, and give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, o Lord, in the firmament of heaven, and to be praised and exalted forever. The Holy Trinity, bless and keep us. Amen. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, O Lord, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. Turn us, O Lord God of hosts, show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who for the three children has quenched the flames of fire, Mercifully grant that we, thy servants, may not be consumed by the flame of our sins. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindle in our reins and in our hearts, O Lord, the fire of the Holy Ghost, that we may serve thee with a chaste body and please thee with a pure heart. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prevent us, O Lord, we beseech thee in all our doings with thy favour, and further us with thy help, that all our works may be begun, continued and ended in thee the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost.